Got a question from somebody asking about how to incorporate CrossFit into their conditioning for field sports like soccer and rugby or any other sport that, re that requires a lot of um, intermittent sprinting. Uh, as you know, CrossFit doesn't incorporate typically a lot of full speed sprinting um, into the wads. There might be some 400 meter runs, maybe some 200 meter runs, but usually it's in the middle of a Metcon and you're not running full speed. Maybe you're running 60%, 70% if you're going pretty quick, but you're probably not running 100% full speed, uh, excuse me, speed like you would be if you were 100% rested and you had to run a full speed 20 yard sprint. You'd be running much, much faster than you are during the Metcon. So the mechanics of sprinting at full speed are a little bit different. Uh, so number one, uh, you need to at some point through throughout the week, you know, maybe once or twice a week, try to run at full speed. You know, run starting out maybe like 10 and 20 yard sprints, and then as you get accustomed to running full speed and and hamstring issues or injuries rather are becoming less of an issue, you can start to run further. You know, into you know 30, 40, 50 yard again 100% full speed sprinting. Uh, volume wise for for sprints, you know, I'd probably start off. You know, run full speed and then you can walk back you know and stick with you know maybe eight or ten sprints and then as you get accustomed to full speed sprinting then you can uh, up your volume uh, also uh, with that you know just like if you want to be able to clean heavy then you need to do heavy cleans very frequently um, that would be considered speed work uh, but if you want to do um, speed endurance work then you can do some some longer sprints where you're not running hundred percent full speed but you're you know between 80 and 90 percent, and you're working on uh, kind of your sprint endurance, if you will. So you're running between maybe 100 and 200 yard sprints, but again, you're running you know 80 or 90 percent full speed, uh, and then you know you can jog back or you can walk back to kind of improve your speed endurance, more similar to how you would run in an actual soccer game. You're not running at a, a continuous slow pace. You're you know running more or less 90 or 100 percent full speed and then you you jog you know once the ball gets further away from you you jog back to position and then when the ball gets close to you again you know then you go back to sprinting so it's more of an intermittent sprint followed by walking and jogging and not necessarily just you know running continuously for the entire game uh, so that's the first thing uh, running full speed uh, is not in many crossfit workouts so you need to incorporate that into your training uh, the other thing uh, that comes to mind is that crossfit uh, is not very reactive. You often know exactly where you're going and you don't have to uh, do much agility. You don't have to react to you thought someone was going to go one way and then they went the other way and you had to plant and turn and, and run in a different direction than you thought you were originally going to. So um, doing some type of reactive training um, can help with that. Um, you know, the easiest example would be um, you know, playing tag, you know, you, you're going to go try to catch somebody and they're going to be running every which way and you're trying to, to catch them and you don't know where they're going to go. So um, playing tag or chasing somebody is an easy way to accomplish that. Um, or you can do agility drills where, where you're running full speed right at somebody who might be 20 yards in front of you and then they can point, go that way or go that way and you can cut and go whichever way or they can say like, you know, go straight backwards or just keep coming forwards and you don't know where you're going to go and you have to react um, to their command. Uh, so those are two things off the top of my head um, that that CrossFit doesn't do uh, very often that you might want to incorporate into um, your training. So hope that helps. See you tomorrow.